This is such a beautiful morning. Clear skies, the sun is out, it's just a little crisp. The birds are super active. I got hot coffee in my hand. Couldn't be any happier, really. Good morning. So today I am going to be answering the most common questions that I get about how I shoot my YouTube videos. You and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. What I use for photography. How I edit both videos and my photos. And I'm gonna go through where I started and what my gear looks like now. It makes me nervous just going in and explaining my camera setup and what I use right now because it's taken a long time for me to get to the space where I feel comfortable and confident with what my setup is now. So I'm gonna start with where this all started and that's the van build. You guys watched the entire series of me building out my van. And prior to that, I had never filmed a video. I had never edited at all, ever. I had never even had the interest in doing that before the van build. So everything that you guys have seen on this channel has been 100% self-taught. I didn't know what I was doing. It was very much a like, I'm just gonna jump into this and see what happens. And this is the camera that I used for the entire van build. This is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. This is a really great, simple, entry-level vlogging camera. The reason that I chose this for the van build was A, I had no idea where this was gonna take me. I didn't know that I was gonna continue a channel after the build. I needed something that was financially doable, and um, this was. I needed something that I could beat up, and I beat this thing up. I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, there's still just a ton of sawdust packed in that lens. Yeah. And sometimes I'll even take this one on trips. If I'm doing long backpacking trips or um, just need to throw something in my bag and I don't have time to like wrap up my nice lens, I'll just throw this in because I know what it can withstand, if you know what I mean. So for all 20 videos or, or so of my van build series, this is the little guy that I filmed on. I used a very cheap, small plastic tripod and no mic connection. So when I moved into the van, I realized, okay, I can't have a nice camera for vlogging and then a different camera for photography. That just doesn't make sense for the way that I live my life. So I invested in the camera that is filming this video right now. And for me to show this camera, I need to switch to my little camera so you can see this one. So let's switch. This is what I use now for all, almost all of my filming. If I was just doing photography, I would have gone with a little bit of a different setup. If I was just doing YouTube and videography and filming, I would have gone with a little bit of a different setup. But because I love both of those things, this is what I settled on for now. This is the Canon EOS RP, and this lens that I use for everything is the 24 to 105 millimeter luxury lens. One way to know that the lenses are luxury is they have this, this red stripe around it. And if you are looking for anything that's gonna maintain quality, the luxury lenses are the way to go. They're very much worth the money. Something that I know about myself is I lose things and I destroy things. That's just kind of how my life rolls. So by me keeping my setup pretty small and minimal, it eliminates the possibility of me losing things and of me destroying things to an extent. Attached to my camera, I do have a Rode mic, and everything that I'm talking about today, I will link in the description. A few things that I love about this camera, this flips around completely, and I really like that side flip rather than the top flip. Also, this zoom is really great. It doesn't lose quality as you zoom into objects, and that's pretty important for me when people are watching things on a large screen or when I'm doing photography and want a really strong depth of field. It's also really comfortable, and I've never dropped it. I don't attach anything else onto it because I'm constantly wearing it, taking it off, holding it out, putting it on the ground, getting different angles. So really when I'm filming, this is it. I don't really have any other accessories. My videos, comparatively, they're still very simple, very basic, and this does everything that I need it to do to produce the videos that I'm currently producing. If I ever decide to amp it up a notch, Maybe I will invest in something a little bit fancier with some different settings, but until then, this is what does the trick. 
the only other thing that I use in my videos is the GoPro 8. So I got this a few months ago because of all of the water stuff that Akila and I do. So I needed something that I could take into the water that I could take paddle boarding and fishing. I love this floaty because with Akila and the things that she does on the water, jumping in or just basically not really being able to trust if we're ever gonna capsize or not. <laughs> this is something that I'm still learning about, how to use this correctly, how to edit this footage correctly, and how to export it correctly. But I do love it, it's super nice to have something that's reliable in water, and I get some really fun footage with it. All right, let's talk about editing. Before I talk about the software that I use, I wanna say this, it's just experience, it's just practice, and you're gonna really suck at first. You're gonna hate your first few videos. And when you first start editing photos, you're not gonna understand how people add mood and depth, and that's okay. To edit my videos, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. To edit my photos, I use Adobe Lightroom. There are a few reasons why I use Adobe products for all of my digital editing. Number one, you can never stop learning with that software. In Premiere Pro, you have endless possibilities for what to do with your videos, and similar to Lightroom. I don't use Photoshop. That's not something that I've really breached into yet, but it is a really great tool. So similarly, using Lightroom and Photoshop, you have endless possibilities with what to do with your photos. I've heard from multiple different people that they have not used Premiere Pro because it is so overwhelming. And what I say to that is yes, it is very overwhelming at the start, but watch a lot of YouTube videos and keep things really simple for yourself. When you're ready to try something new, try a new transition, learn how to color grade, YouTube a video, and then just take your time implementing it. It can be really frustrating, but it's also a super rewarding, fun, and creative process to grow and learn as you're filming and putting videos out. I have not had any formal training in editing, photography, nothing. It's all self-taught, which means that you can absolutely teach yourself as well. Well, everybody, now you know exactly what I use to film all of my videos. I will link everything in the description, whether you are a beginner or you're looking to upgrade. This might give you a few ideas for things to research, things to think about. If you do end up going with Canon products, I highly recommend searching the refurbished site. I will also link that below. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them below. And if I make another video similar to this one, I will make sure to answer them. But it is time for my second cup of coffee and I am going to get to editing next week's video because Akila and I and my mom and Stella spent three days on an island and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. <laughs> so Akila and I will see you next week. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun.